Yo, what's up guys? So many of you guys were asking me to play Giant and Graveyard and Log Bait, so I sold my soul and now I'm gonna do it. Okay, let me just do what they all do in Giant Graveyard at the bridge for his play, just like manual. He taught me how to play Giant Graveyard, so I put it in Log Bait and he told me to Giant Graveyard for his play, so I'm gonna Giant Graveyard for his play and struggle to defend. Okay, I'm gonna go Princess on the Lava Hound here and see what happens. I'm down a lot of Elixir because I just threw a Giant Graveyard down. Okay, I'm gonna kite over the Inferno Dragon with guards, I guess, to the other lane. Okay. He actually has a clone, so that's gonna get a lot of damage. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm gonna get 3 crown. I'm gonna go for an Inferno Tower here and just hope for the best. And uh, I'm just gonna go Giant and Graveyard on his King Tower and see what happens. Should 3 crown him because Giant Graveyard's broken. I might have to log this first. If he uses the ability. Okay, yeah, I have to log that. Hmm, I'm not gonna log. I'm just gonna go Giant Graveyard. Uh, wait, okay, I'm gonna Goblin Barrel. Then, to get to my Graveyard, but then I'm gonna go Giant Graveyard. Hopefully I bait something out. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. I'm gonna go Giant Graveyard right now. <laughs> wait, oh my god, he has no Elixir. Wait, I'm gonna 3-crown him. <laughs> wait. Please, have no spells. <laughs> he just got three crowned by giant graveyard in one minute. Wow. <laughs> I'm in the next game against this guy. Okay, wait, what? I just lagged so hard. I don't even know what happened. Uh, my game just like skipped and he had a Skarmie E-Barbs coming at me. I don't really know what happened. But I guess it's fine. I'm probably just gonna... Okay, I need to go for a graveyard on defense. Um... The best part about this deck is that, like, I can just go Giant Graveyard first play and win. That's, like, the best part about this, and it takes no skill at all, obviously, so. It's gonna be a fun video. He goes for Golden Knight. I guess I could just go for an Infernal Tower here. It is pretty nice having them log my Goblin Barrel, then just going Giant Graveyard at the bridge, because they don't have log for my graveyard. It's pretty nice. Um, not really sure what he's gonna do here. Okay, uh, I guess just drop an Electro Wizard into an Inferno Tower. <laughs> I don't know about that. It was kind of bad. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Goblin Barrel here. Try to get to my graveyard. Okay, I'm going to kite this over with guards. And then, okay. I don't know what this guy's doing. It's <laughs> when Inferno Dragon rage at the bridge. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go Princess here on the Skeleton Army. Okay, I'm going to go Giant Graveyard at the bridge, I think. I think that could be a pretty good play. I mean, it's always a good play. I mean, Manuel taught me how to do it. Yeah, I'm just going to go Giant Graveyard here. Manuel taught me how. I'm going to do it in the front like this, just in case he has a Skeleton Army, so I could log the Skeleton Army. Okay, uh... Well, I'm 2 for 2... I'm, I'm 3 for 3 so far. Every time I've went Giant Graveyard, I've taken a tower. <laughs> this is so... Like, this takes no skill at all. I've went Giant Graveyard three times, and I've taken three towers, and I've de pretty much defended each time. Except for the first time, but that, that one time doesn't count because I three-crowned him. Okay. Now I just have to play defense, and the game's going to be over. Uh, I could just go for... Okay, I'm going to go for guards here on the Inferno Dragon to pull it into the Inferno Tower. Go for Princess, I guess. Just to hit, hit the Skeleton Army. Um, I could go for a Giant Graveyard in the pocket right now for absolutely no reason at all. Yeah, let's do it. Giant Graveyard. Let's pull back the Mega Knight, and let's see if we're 4 for 4 on taking towers with Giant Graveyard. Wow. 4 Giant Graveyards, 4 towers. <laughs> and make sure to laugh as well. As a true Giant Graveyard player, you need to always BM for no reason at all. Even if you like, completely counter them, just make sure to BM, especially when you're playing a Giant Graveyard. Okay. And yeah, just pull this over with the giant. <laughs> Honestly, now I see why the giant graveyard players always BM because it is fun just to go two cards at the bridge, take a whole tower, and then just laugh like you did something special. <laughs> okay, I'm in the next game against this guy. I'm just gonna go for a goblin barrel here. I'm gonna try to like trick him, make him think I'm playing log, but then just go giant graveyard at the bridge. He goes for arrows. Um, I have giant and graveyard. I'm just gonna princess though. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Okay, he goes for a wizard balloon. Uh, you know, log and then inferno tower. I don't know why he went a wizard, a wizard balloon at the bridge for his play. 
Okay. Depending on what he does, I could go for a giant graveyard. Okay, I'm gonna go for guards here. This is crazy. Usually I'm like, every game, I'm like, giving tips and like, saying other things on like, what they did right or wrong and like, but this, I'm just going giant graveyard at the bridge. So much more fun. <laughs> giant graveyard, let's see if I can take a tower again. This is my fifth giant graveyard. Okay, may maybe I won't take the tower here. Let's see. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> five giant graveyards, five towers. Now I see why manual is so high on ladder. Without like having any skill at all. Just like, giant graveyard, take a tower. <laughs> this, is, this is just like playing on easy mode. Like, she's just not fair at all. Mm. I want to say he made a mistake, but he just tried to defend, but Giant Graver is just unstoppable. Let's go. Princess in the back here. Okay, I'm going to go for guards, and then maybe I could go for like another Giant Graveyard or something. I'm going to Goblin Barrel, I think, first, and then I could go Giant Graveyard. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna Goblin Barrel. I could like, maybe Log Blizzard? Nah, I can just ignore it like Giant Graveyard players do. Just ignore everything and go Giant Graveyard. Giant Graveyard. Into the Valkyrie as well, but it's fine because it's Giant Graveyard. That's my sixth Giant Graveyard. Let's see if I get the tower here. Um, okay, wow. This is the first time I didn't take the tower, but it is in rocket range. I could just rock the tower, I guess, right at the end. That's crazy though. Giant Graveyard is so hard to stop. Go guards. Okay, log. Princess. Just make sure to defend now. Kind of like not completely like a giant creeper player because I do play some defense. A real giant creeper player probably would have went for the three crown right now. So I guess let's like center our graveyard towards the king. I guess just try to take both towers. Okay, we're not gonna be able to three crown in here, but it's a nice third win here. Uh, I didn't literally nothing. <laughs> I can't even really give any tips, like just giant graveyard at the bridge every time and you'll win, as you see. Just giant graveyard, and you got the tower. <laughs> okay, and then next game against this guy, okay, um, oops. Okay, giant graveyard took over my brain. I just went to goblin barrel right in front of my king tower first play. I'm gonna stop playing giant graveyard because it's taking over my brain. Doing these random terrible plays. <laughs> Uh, I guess I need to cycle my log before I can do a giant graveyard. Okay, I'm just gonna Inferno Tower on the Royal Ghost here, and then I could go for... Okay, I'm just gonna let all this die, then just go giant graveyard for right now. Okay. Just wait to get 10 Elixir, giant graveyard, and probably win the game. Okay, I'm gonna have to kite this over with a giant, and then go graveyard with it. Okay. Oh, that was a really bad ability. He doesn't have much elixir. I'm gonna go graveyard here, and this should be another tower. Never mind. He has e I probably won't take the tower. Wait, maybe? No. Okay. Could go for a goblin barrel, I guess, because he did use his log. The thing is, graveyard is great at baiting out logs, but if you just goblin barrel, bait out the log, just go giant graveyard, it's just gonna be so easy. I don't really know what that Valkyrie was. Because the Goblin Bell is like already dead, but I guess I could just go for guards on this. Hmm. Eh, for an Inferno Tower too, I guess. Just Inferno Tower just in case he wants to go for something else. Kind of just like make it awkward, make it easier for me to build up Elixir and then just go for another giant graveyard. Okay, um, probably just going to defend that Mega Knight with a giant. Don't really have much else. Yeah, I'm just going to giant into the Mega Knight. Guards and then giant on top and let the guards kill it. Okay, I'm gonna giant right now just to let the Inferno Tower kill the E with. That, that, that's like the one thing separating me and giant graveyard players. Instead of having terrible slow reactions, I can actually react to things. Because like I'm not like a true giant graveyard player. So I can re react to stuff and I can like see where goblin barrels are going. Okay, let's go for a... Uh... I don't even think I need the guards. Hmm, no, I do. I definitely do. I'm gonna go guards. Go for a log, I guess. I don't even need to. I'm just gonna go giant graveyard. <laughs> Wait, he wasted his log. That should be tower. 
Never mind. But I'm just gonna rocket this and yeah. <laughs> this deck takes no skill at all. Wow. Now imagine if I was playing a real giant graveyard deck, how easy this would be. This is already like super easy, just like giant graveyard at the bridge, but I guess it would have like a bit better defensive options and I'd have more like support for my graveyard because with log and rock I don't really have much support for my graveyard, but thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and please don't make fun of me too much for playing giant graveyard. I just had to. So I just had to see what it was like to get a tower every time you place two cards. Bye.